live with breaking news. This is Channel 4 News. But I want to give you a look at this. This is really the first time we've been able to give you a live on the ground look at the situation unfolding right now on I-24. But I want you to see the backup over here. Again, I-24 eastbound. This has been at an absolute standstill for much wow. of the afternoon. There's been dozens of people. In fact, you can see right there, yeah. they're backing up this boat. Presumably, they're going to take another tour trying to make sure that they're able to do what they can do to make sure that everybody is okay. But we're pretty sure that everyone, all those drivers are accounted for. Absolutely, Demetria. We have heard that everyone is safe and accounted for, but back over here in this line of traffic, you will notice there are a lot of taillights on. It might seem to indicate that there are people in the vehicles, but again, we believe that everyone is safe and accounted for. Okay. Which, of course, the advice from police is please don't come out. Stay with Channel 4. Watch the images here. The roads are simply not in good enough shape for you to risk going out and about. Well, Sarah, we're actually able to show you for the very first time a live picture of this flooding Ooh. that really has happened within the past two hours. I just want you to see this. We've told you just a few moments ago about a boat that actually went out. These folks right here, Jason, if you could swing around with me. Uh, tell me a little bit, ma'am, if I might ask about your morning. When I came out of the attic into the garage, it was over my head. Mm. My husband had to pull me up out of the water. Well, I'm so glad that you made it to dry land. I'm so glad. Me too. Thank yeah. you. And the reality of the situation is that first responders and rescuers are really just stretched to the max. So what you have here are just well-natured neighbors who are who are doing whatever they can and taking their own initiative to try to make sure that everyone is accounted for. This is Broadway and Second, where we've been based pretty much all day. And you can see the floodwaters over here in front of Joe's Crab Shack continue to rise, continue to push ever so closely to Broadway. Police say, you know, if you want to take a picture, that's fine. But when they tell you to get out of an area, get out of an area. This is really the first time we've been able to get this far south on Second. This is still at the intersection of Broadway and Second. If you're familiar with this area, you know the place decades. This is actually their back escape, and you can see behind me the parking lot behind this place is well flooded. In fact, it continues to flood, continues to increase in terms of the water levels. Now, off there, you see Metro Police, and they appear to be making some sort of announcement at this point. You can see a steady stream of folks moving away from this area, so it would at least appear that right now Metro Police are beginning to push back people for some reason, I might have to step from this location in just a few minutes to try to figure out exactly why. But but again, there you see it looks like Metro Police are beginning to push people back from this intersection of Broadway and 2nd. And you know, I was talking with the owner of this place when he got here first thing this morning. This tire was his gauge. The water was on the far right side of this tire. All right now, we're going to take advantage of something that you're not able to do on the ground. We're going to take you beyond this police tape now to show you what we're talking about in terms of this damage here. Well, I'm in the Charlie Daniels Museum here in downtown Nashville. We've been able to bring our live camera inside because I want to show you the waterfront deli. This is really the first time that we have seen live for you the damage that this flood is causing here in downtown Nashville. While we were here setting up for the live shot, we happened to notice something really cool, an image that we've not been able to show you, and it is this one right here, right outside this window. This, folks, is the Cumberland River. And then over here, we've got the Skirmerhorn, Crown Jewel here in downtown Nashville, the Symphony Hall, beautiful from this side, but I want to show you some new video from the other side. This video we shot within the past 15 minutes of a major sandbagging operation now going on. This would be over there on 4th Avenue as they continue to try to make sure that that building stays viable, stays good to go. We do know that there is about 25, 30 feet of water at last check in the basement of the Skirmerhorn, threatening mechanical and electronic equipment, so obviously a major concern over there. But back live here in downtown, you can see that there are still plenty of people, but they have roped off a lot of these areas while these pumping operations continue to try to get some of this storm water out of the basements of these buildings. But again, the problem that we been talking about time and again is that this water just has nowhere to go. So in a lot of ways, it's only compounding the problem, especially with the threat that's coming from the Cumberland. In fact, if you look over here, we've been keeping an eye on this. This is the back side of the Joe's Crab Shack that we've been referring to here in downtown that sits along 2nd Avenue South. You can see that the water here in the back by this trash dumpster has actually continued to creep up closer to 3rd. So that water continues to go. In fact, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we've got a guy right there in a kayak. I don't know exactly what his deal is, but he's trying to take a tour of some of this downtown damage right there. Probably not advisable because, again, this water is not clean by any stretch of the imagination.